when we touch a hot object we immediately remove our hands because human beings have a well developed nervous system and muscles which facilitate giving responses to different stimuli but plants neither have a nervous system nor do they have muscles but how do they still give responses to different stimuli such as touch see if you touch the leaves of mimosa pudica it will immediately fold and droop how does this happen well when we touch the leaves of mimosa pudica a chemical is secreted in the tissue space that changes the cell shape now the cell shape changes by changing the amount of water present in it resulting in swelling or shrinking let us see how this happens see when cells are kept in a hypertonic solution or in a solution that has a high solute concentration then water is drawn out of the cells by osmosis and as a result of which cells have a shrunk appearance now similarly in mimosa pudica when we touch the leaves a chemical is secreted in the tissue space now this causes an increasing amount of ions outside the cells because of the ion because of the high ion concentration outside the cells water from inside the cell is drawn out so the cells become dehydrated and shrunk and that is why the leaves droop and folds other kinds of movement are also seen in plant like when the embryo present in the seed grows to form a new plant see during seed germination root grows towards the soil and stems grow away from the soil towards the light now this directional movement of plants is triggered by different environmental factors such as light water or gravity this directional movement is known as tropism so plants showing directional movement grows either towards the stimulus or away from it now it is seen that shoots always grow towards the light source see so this kind of directional movement is known as phototropism where photo means light and tropism means directional movement so from this pictures you can easily understand that shoots are positively phototropic and roots are negatively phototropic that is they grow away from the sunlight so how does the shoot moves towards the light source well this is facilitated by a hormone or a chemical known as auxin now when a shoot detects the light source this auxin is secreted away from the light source as in if there is sun rays coming from only one direction then auxin diffuses to the shady part of the stem now the main function of auxin is to increase the length of cells so auxin since it is secreted on this part of the stem increases the cell length the cells grow in size but the cells do not grow in size on this part as a result of which 
the stem bends towards the light source. There are other plant movements also, which are controlled by different hormones, such as gibberellin, which also helps in the growth of shoot, cytokinin, which promotes cell division and is so present in areas of high cell division, such as seeds and fruits, and finally, abscisic acid, which inhibits growth and causes wilting of leaves. Just like shoots grow towards the light source, roots grow towards the soil. So this directional movement is known as geotropism, where geo means soil and tropism means directional movement. So roots are positively geotropic, whereas shoots are negatively geotropic. That is, they move against the soil source. Just like roots are positively geotropic, they grow towards the water source as well. And this type of directional movement is known as hydrotropism, where hydro means water and tropism means directional movement. So we can see that roots are positively hydrotropic, whereas shoots are negatively hydrotropic. That is, they move away from the water source. So till now, we've discussed about environmental triggers such as light, water, soil, which causes directional movement in plants. But there are other movements in plants also which are not triggered by environmental factors. One of such movements is the movement of pollen tubes towards the ovule in the ovary. Now, what happens is, after pollination, the ovary gives out a chemical which attracts the pollen tube towards itself. So this kind of directional movement is not triggered by light or water or soil or any other environmental factors, but because of a chemical that has been secreted by the plant itself. So this kind of directional movement is known as chemotropism, where chemo comes from the word chemical, and tropism, as you know, means directional movement.